Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how we can dynamically add data inside our header. And no matter in which screen we are, we should have the active user data inside our headers. Okay, so we are inside our application that is currently hosted on codingvt.codingvt- this URL which is in the Firebase host and we are inside the login screen and I'm going to click on this sign in. In the previous tutorial, we have already covered the forget password, reset password, email and password things and if you want to view the backend video of forget password and how we're going to send the email, you can watch the video link is in the description which is exactly same video that we have already done for our e-commerce app so i have already added the link in the description in the recommended videos so you can watch those videos okay when i'm going to sign in the user or the admin after processing you can see we are logged in and at the top you can see the data of the current admin who is logged in and let's say when i'm going to click on this media you can still see the same data at the top in the dashboard still we have the same data but over here in the admin panel just for the demonstration let's say I'm going to change the name the last name which we have over here and when I'm going to refresh this you can see it is being loaded and we have a new data which is coding with Taimur and then we have all these things exactly same and also I have an image inside our storage of Firebase and when I'm going to copy this access token head back to the Firestore and inside the profile picture we can paste this access token update it and this is the URL that we can use to view the images inside our app. And if we head back over here and refresh it again, at this time you can see the image is uh, loading and you can see the logo of coding with T. So this is what exactly we are going to create and no matter in which screen we are. And you can see I'm in the media screen and we have the same data at the top. Let's go to the products. Products are being loading and at the top we have the data of that same admin. So this is what we're going to learn in today's tutorial. We are creating the section four and this is the last video of this section in which we complete we will end with the admin management we learn how to add the admin in the previous tutorial how to log in admin into your database how to add roles and definitely how to manage these roles in the previous sections if you are already following we have already covered a lot of things you can watch the collection link or the playlist link in the description so let's get started with today's tutorial in the previous tutorial if you remember that we created a user controller whose responsibility is to fetch the user details and we were calling this fetch user details from the login controller whenever admin is trying to log in using email and password we will start the loader check internet do the form validation and if the member b checkbox is selected or not then we are going to call our email and password authentication to see if this email and password is valid and allowed to be logged in and if yes we are going to fetch the details of this current user from the firestore using the same function which is written in the user controller which is calling user repository dot fetch admin details and once we have that user we will check its role and if that role is dot admin we will definitely log out the user again because at the top using this one it was logged in will display an message or the error message or the warning message that you are not authorized and if that is not the case user is admin then we will simply redirect user to the dashboard screen so this was the logic created in the previous tutorial whereas today's tutorial we have a user controller that we are going to use today if you watch the section 2 videos i have talked about that we need to create the instance of any class using getx once and we can use the same instance throughout in the life cycle of our application now we are going to do the same to create a new instance of the class in the general bindings i have created get dot lazy put and inside that i have added a user controller so we can either do get dot put that is directly going to create the instance or we are going to use the get dot lazy put this means whenever the instance is needed this user controller instance will be created right away rather creating it at the launch of our application so i have declared the user controller over here this means that it, its instance will be created whenever needed for the first time and once using get.put we create the instance later on we just have to call get.find to use that instance throughout in our application so using this method I am going to first of all create a boolean variable type of rxbool. This is a boolean of observable variable so that we can check if current data is loading or not. If loading is true, we will start showing a loader in the header and if it is false, we will stop the loader and display the actual data. So I am going to name it loading is equal to by default it will be false and dot obs means it will be observer variable and it will be observed by the 
OBX widget so that whenever there is change in this loading widget, our design should redraw itself. Then we need the user data that we want to display, which is inside the user model, which we also covered in the previous tutorial. So this is the user model with all this data. So we're going to get this data inside our user controller and also to create this user controller as Rx or observable, we can use the Rx type of user model. This means that now our user class will be observable class named user and by default we have to provide an empty constructor user model dot empty method and make it dot obvious this means that now this user is also observable whenever there is change inside this class not inside these variables but inside this class then we will be able to redraw the design if needed we covered these things in the previous tutorials if you are confused here you can watch the previous tutorials now one more thing the important thing is whenever the instance of this user controller will be created in the general bindings and these general bindings are declared inside the app.dart and whenever the material app or the app.dart will be created or called it is going to create these or initialize these general bindings and in that our user controller instance will be created and once this instance will be created it will override or it will automatically call few functions few overridden functions that we can override and the one we are going to use is the on init method super dot on init now inside this method whenever it is going to be called we want to fetch the user details and we want to initialize this user which we received to this one so that we can later on use this user wherever needed inside our application so let me call this function here so whenever application instance will be created this on init function will be called and this function will automatically fetch details of this admin detail fetch admin details and we have a user repository which is going to deal with all the cloud related queries and functions so we have a create user we have fetch admin detail user or fetch user details which is going to call the collection of users and in the document of our authentication id where we store the data we're going to get this data convert that json into user model and return that user model and now in here once we have that user first of all we want to start the loading loading dot value is equal to true this means that loading will be started once we have that user we will call this dot user to access the user at the top dot value is equal to the user we have over here and then we are going to stop the loading and then at the end if this user has to be returned we will return it and also in the catch if there is any exception we want to stop the loading here as well okay so we are pretty much done with this user controller now we can go to common widgets and in the layouts of header we can go to header to dart and in here because instance is already created now we can just simply find that instance let's name it controller is equal to user controller dot instance so what is this instance it is an helper method helper getter method which is a static method and we can directly call user controller dot instance you can name it anything what it is going to call it is going to call get dot find so what this get dot find is going to find it should find this user controller or this type of user controller so because instance is already created then we can find that instance but if in case we do not have any instance then this is going to throw an error or exception that there is no such type of user controller you need to call get.port or get.lazyport so once we have this controller we can go to actions and over here in the t rounded image in the image type we can call the user inside the controller controller dot user and to extract the actual user we have to call the value now inside we have a profile picture and if that profile picture is not empty we can remove this constant then we want to use image type which will be the network image and and if it is empty we want to display the asset image and also in the images let me copy this we can simply get this picture this means that if there is some image in the profile picture then we want to display that profile picture because in that case it will be the network image and if it is asset image then we want to display the image from the assets now because we need to also check if it is loading or not and we also have to change this image once the image is loaded or once the query brings the data so we have to wrap this widget with the obx widget and remove this child with a function this means that because this user is obs user so whenever there is change inside this user it will automatically detected by this obx and it will redraw this image for us and then for the name and email 
instead of calling a static name we can call controller dot user dot value dot full name so this full name is going to com combine this first name and this last name so basically we have the first and last name but full name is going to combine these two and return us the full name same let's remove this and change this full name to email you now because these can be changed so we have to wrap this column with a widget of obx replace this child with a function and also one more thing add a loader on top of this text i want to add this check controller dot loading dot value and add a question mark if loading is true then i want to create the shimmer effect width will be 50 height will be 13 and in else case control alt l to align so if it is loading i want to display this effect with this width and height i will display you this widget in a few minutes let me first add the same for this second text so now you can see if loading will be true meanwhile we will display the shimmer effect the data is loading and once the data is loaded we will display the whatever is in, inside this full name and same for the email if you want to see this effect uh, we have created a reusable widget while working in the e-commerce app in that we use the shimmer class let me show you the package in the pubspec.ml this is the package that we are using to generate effects of something loading and this is the reusable widget that we created which is located in the common widgets and in the shimmers we have shimmer.dart and inside you can see we have created this shimmer.from colors we have a base color then we have a highlight color and child contains width the width that we just provided we can provide different width and height a default radius is already added and then color if we want to provide we provide the color that will be added and if not based on dark and light modes it will add the color by itself and then also the border radius is given over here here which is 15 but definitely we can give any border radius we want so that's it there was nothing much to do let's run this application if we go to utils constants and text strings previously in the previous tutorial if you remember we created this email to register the admin and this was the password to register the admin okay so our application is running add email and password click on sign in it is again registering the admin so we have to change that go to the login controller and register admin was being called from the login form instead of this register admin because it is now registered we have to comment this and uncomment this login so that we can log in the already registered admin so now let's rerun this click on sign in and now you can see it's logging you in it's checking that if this account is created and yes this account is created and now at the top you can see we have the email the name which is cwt admin and email is test me at coding with t.com this means that we receive then we do not have any image but we have definitely a text so this means that our header has the data that we wanted so definitely when i'm going to make this design as a responsive design in the mobile we do not have any data but in the tablet we have the same data and also in the desktop we have the same data again we'll fix this bottom overflow by infinite pixels don't worry about it so that's it for Today's tutorial, I hope you learned something new and if you have any questions, you can ask me down below in the comments. You can also join my YouTube channel, link is in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.